Cyberdogs, this is Ren Dog coming at you from Dog Mail number 15, the show where I read out some of the awesome emails that you guys send me from all over the world. Man, we have a jam packed show today. Four dog mails to get through. And guys, remember if you want to send me a dog mail, you can do so via YouTube private message, email, Facebook, or dogcraft.net, the official cyber dog community website. In the background, you can see me working on the Granny Dog Monument traffic circle. And guys, just remember that even though I don't read everyone's dog mails out on the show, I do read every single dog mail that I get. So thank you to everybody who has been sending me dog mails over the last few weeks. It is always so freaking awesome to see those dog mails in my inbox, guys. Keep them freaking coming. Dudes, without further ado, let us get cracking on this week's dog mail. The first dog mail comes from Rowanna, and she has to say, Hi, RD, it's Ro Rowanna, and I skimmed through all the questions on the forums and picked out the appropriate questions that us CyberDog mods couldn't answer. So here are the questions. Mm, man, that is one huge list of questions. Let's get cracking. Do you have any plans of restarting Terraria? Um, I would like to play Terraria again. I must say I do love that game more than I love most games in the world. And, and I'm definitely going to try and find some time later on in the year to see if we can play Terraria again. Of course, there is Soulbound coming, which is a Terraria 2, inverted commas, which I'll definitely be playing. So we'll have to see how long Soulbound t takes to come out. Um, if we're going to, you know, think about restarting Terraria. Uh, what recording editing software do you use? Well, I use Sony Vegas Pro 12 HD and, um, and I use Fraps to record the video and I use Audacity to record the audio and I put the audio and the video together in Sony Vegas. Favorite type of biome? Oh man, that is a tricky one. Are we talking Minecraft vanilla? It's got to be a jungle, right? I freaking love the jungle biome in Minecraft, man. Definitely my favorite biome. Um, how did you find out about Minecraft? Well, that is interesting. Actually, I, I, the first time I ever saw Minecraft, I watched Simon and Lewis from the Yogg's cast playing the Shadows of Israel, And I was like, damn, man, that game looks sweet. And um, I had been playing Terraria before I, I started playing Minecraft. So I kind of did it the other way around because Terraria came out after Minecraft, obviously. But I started on Terraria and then moved on to Minecraft. All because of those freaking Yogg brothers, man. <laughs> um, favorite Minecraft parody song? Um, it's got to be Toby Turner's Swing My Sword. <laughs> do you play Xbox 360? I do not play Xbox. I have a PlayStation 3. <laughs> what is your secret to being so awesome? Um, um, it's, it's, it's probably all the steak that I eat. <laughs> Um, are you going to make a downloadable version of the song that you play when you fast forward? That, I've, that is a very good question. I've never been asked that question before. And uh, if there is a big enough demand for it, I, that, I definitely will. Favorite computer game? Oh, man. But, I mean, that is such a difficult question. Uh, well, I mean, Minecraft is, is probably my favorite computer game. But it's, it's kind of on par with other amazing games from my past, like StarCraft 1, Diablo 1, um, Half-Life 1. Uh, man, it's so it's so difficult, but I mean Minecraft is definitely up there uh, as my number one favorite computer game But I have many if I were to choose my ultimate all-time favorite computer game. It would probably be XCOM Apocalypse <laughs> uh, Greatest thing that has ever happened to you in Minecraft um, Finding my first diamond man. That was a, an awesome moment for me. <laughs> Will you do a Hunger Games vid? Um, yes, how do you come up with your ideas? Well, some of them just come to me while I'm recording and others I'll think about while I'm like falling asleep or watching TV. And whenever I have an idea for the series, I usually write it down to try and remember it. And then I, I kind of have like a notebook full of ideas. And uh, whenever I'm, I'm trying to work out what to do next in the series, I always refer back to my notebook. Will you start an ether series? No idea what that is. <laughs> Were you cool in school? Um, I wouldn't exactly say cool. But I wasn't a loser. <laughs> but um, I spent most of my time like playing StarCraft multiplayer and um, you know learning how to how to program and stuff like that. When I was growing up, computers was were like I think we were on on sort of Pentium two four eight sixes I guess when I was around I don't know eleven or twelve years old. So I was getting into the computer stuff while um, all of my mates were still playing football and stuff like that. But um, 
I, I was, I usually, I kept myself to myself most of the time. I spent most of the weekends um, by myself in the mountains and in the forests that were around my school because uh, I went to a boarding school. So I guess, yeah, I guess in, in terms of the, the, um, the traditional sense of cool, I definitely wasn't cool. <laughs> Your five favorite blocks. Um, man, I, I'm assuming in Minecraft. Um, wow, that's a tricky one. Irons, gold, diamonds, obviously, obsidian, and I would have to say the humble cobblestone. Have you ever thought of making a waterfall? Yes, I'm going to be making a waterfall um, at the Lakeside Villa. Would you ever let a cyber dog play with you for one video? Absolutely. I would just have to, you know, and we would just have to find the right situation for that, man. But that would be sweet. What would you do if Herobrine came? I would probably jump into the Thames. If you were a dog, what kind would you be? An Alsatian. Are you ever going to play a game on a console? Probably Grand Theft Auto 5. Thanks for reading. Sorry for the long message. See you around. Damn, Rowena, that was a freaking huge dog mail. Thank you so much for sending that in, man. I hope I answered some of the CyberDog's questions out there that have that you summarized so nicely in that email. But guys, let's move on to the next dog mail. This one comes from Like 20 Ninjas, and they have to say the following. Hey, Rain Dog, what is up? This is Like 20 Ninjas, and I just have to say that I absolutely love your videos from Minecraft, Feed the Beast, Dishonored, the occasional Take It, and even some Terraria. Oh, yeah, baby, a Terraria fan. High five. So today I am just coming at you with some suggestions for Mole City. All right, let's start off with the first suggestion. I think while not actually practical, more of a realistic standpoint, there should be an armory in the underground caves of Mole City. I mean, how are the villagers going to protect themselves if iron golems aren't around? There will be all sorts of theft. The cost for emeralds will be at an all-time high. Man, that is such a good point. The second thing is that you should build a smaller second district in one of the other sections of forested land. This could be like the rich countryside of Mole City. You could have fancy hotels and even a downtown where the bakery is or the trading posts, etc. That is an awesome idea. I'm thinking like the mountain range is just behind the, 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 um, the nether portal temple. That's quite a cool area to have like a rich man zone. You know what I'm saying? Like a like mansions in the country or if you will now this next thing this is just a kind of random thought but obsidian studios is thinking of working on a new game fallout 4 oh my god just had a nerdgasm if you don't already know the fallout series specializes in having many different options to choose from throughout the game and would be very interesting to watch and see what you would choose plus i believe that fallout games can be generally fun games to watch i think that this game could have tons of potential in a let's play as the next step can never really be anticipated with all of the choices at hand please take it into consideration these three ideas from me as i think these ideas would be absolutely so sweet P.S. Sorry for the long dog mail. Also, I would absolutely love it if this appeared in dog mail episode, especially since the new Fallout idea should also be shared with the cyber dogs to see what their ideas on that would be. If there was a Fallout 4, I will be playing the jazz out of that game. Fallout 3 was absolutely epic. I love that game. And of course, Fallout 1 and 2 were amazing. So I would definitely make a Fallout 4 series. Um, who knows when it'll come out though, right? Um, but guys, on to the third dog mail of today. This one is from uh, Thidges, and they have to say the following. Greetings, Rendog. This is Thidges, coming at you from Holland. Oh man, that's my home, it's my home country. Well, not really, but um, my ancestors are from Holland. Uh, I love your videos, and I have watched all of them. I start playing Dishonored, Take It, and Feed the Beast because of you. About Feed the Beast, when are you going to upload the next video? I have some suggestions for Mole City and the Mole Hole. In, in Mole City, you have the small lake. You have to make some little restaurants there at the water. That is an awesome idea, man. I definitely might make a little restaurant there over the lakeside Villa Lake. <laughs> uh, for the Mole Hole, I thought you could maybe make a nice entrance because now it's just two doors and that's laugh my ass off. That is, that is so true, man. We need to upgrade the entrance to the Mole Hole one time. Um, that is a great suggestion. If you put this in mail, in dog mail 14, it would really make my day. Well, it's in dog mail 15 <laughs> already. Thanks. Thidges, PS, sorry for the long mail. Not at all, Thidges. Thanks so much for sending in that dog mail. Fantastic idea about upgrading the mole, uh, the mole hole entrance and as well as adding a restaurant to Mole City. Love it, baby. Um, right, guys, we've got one more dog mail to get through. This one is from the Pyrokin, and he has to say the following. Hello, Rain Dog. Hey, Pyrokin, what's cracking? 
Just wanted to say, I'm proud of how your channel has been growing. I've been watching since you had less than 150 subscribers. Damn, dude, that is crazy, man. You must be so sick of my voice by now, dude. That is crazy. But thank you so much for being with me from all the way back then. That is awesome. Um, your channel just keeps growing and growing, which is awesome. Anyways, I just wanted to ask and or suggest if you would were going to try to do little community play dates. You know, maybe playing with some cyber dogs on maybe Minecraft, Left 4 Dead 2, or perhaps just some random multiplayer games. It would be pretty cool and it'd kind of give a chance to some of the other cyber dogs to talk to you. Another thing, keep doing a good job on your channel. I hope even you don't do community play dates. You'll still play against with me and other Cyberdog YouTubers. Thanks for reading the Pyrokin. Oh, thanks so much for sending that dog mail through Pyrokin. I think it's a great idea. Um, finding some time to play with some Cyberdogs. I mean, logistically speaking, it's a very difficult thing to organize because, you know, a lot of, of you Cyberdogs are in the United States of America. Some of you guys are in Canada. Some of you guys are in Australia, Japan, Europe, South Africa. I mean, it's cr you guys are all over the place. Man, have you even got guys from Brazil? I mean, how in, in the name of all that is holy does one coordinate some sort of a cyber dog gathering with all those freaking um, times and, you know, time zones in place? But um, I'm definitely going to be looking at, you know, the logistics of something like that. Maybe we can, we can all gather together on a server or something like that and have like a really sweet ass marathon session of Minecraft or something. But that is a sweet idea, Pyrokin. Thank you so much for getting in touch. Whew, damn, what a dog mail that was, guys. Thank you to everybody who wrote in um, and, and over the last few weeks. And thanks to you four guys who were in this dog mail. Remember, guys, if you want to get a dog mail to me, you can do so um, via YouTube, private message, email, Facebook, or dogcraft.net, the new, brand new, shiny cyber dog community forum. All the details are in the comment section below, guys. And if you haven't visited dogcraft.net yet, I don't know what you're doing, man, but you better get your ass over there. It is free to join. You gotta be 13 though. And it is freaking sweet! Guys, this has been Rain Dog coming at you from Dogmail number 15. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends!